Good afternoon, my name is Josh from Cyclones of Oz and I've got a detailed weather update on the situation that's going to occur in southeast Queensland tomorrow afternoon and evening. As I'm sure everybody is aware, we've got some very dangerous severe thunderstorm potential around the Gold Coast hinterland and around Brisbane, particularly into the western and the south of Brisbane. We could be looking at some very dangerous severe thunderstorms through tomorrow afternoon and evening. The conditions are there, however, we do have one small factor. It's the high cloud coverage that could be uh, there in the wake of the severe thunderstorms moving through into south central Queensland very early tomorrow morning, around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, if we do see high cloud coverage, it completely throttles and cancels off the uh, thunderstorm potential through southeast Queensland tomorrow afternoon. But the chances of that occurring and the chances of that completely wrecking the chances of severe thunderstorms in southeast Queensland right now are pretty minimal. So let's talk about what we've got going on around Brisbane, the Gold Coast, into the Gold Coast hinterland, and then over the border into the northeast of New South Wales tomorrow afternoon. Strong thunderstorms are expected to develop early on in the day. We're expecting these thunderstorms to get going out about 2 o'clock into the northeast of New South Wales and then about 2.30 or 3 o'clock over into the southeast corners of Queensland, particularly inland from the Gold Coast, so through the Gold Coast hinterland and then out around Boona, Bow Desert and Jimboomba is where these thunderstorms are going to very quickly begin to develop after around 2 or 2.30. We're expecting one or two isolated but still very strong severe thunderstorm cells to be the main story through tomorrow and this will upscale later on into the afternoon at around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon to some more widespread but weaker thunderstorm activity further inland around Toowoomba and especially towards the north up to Crow's Nest, Kingaroy and Kilcoy. Thunderstorms could potentially extend as far north as Gympie, however the risk of thunderstorms stops at around Gympie with a very low chance of thunderstorms extending further north into the northern parts of the Sunshine Coast and then into the Fraser Coast. Thunderstorms are not expected up there. These thunderstorms are going to be strong, and again, as mentioned, conditions are primed for significant slash severe thunderstorm potential. Not only do we have uh, good convective available potential energy values, it's definitely not the highest values that we've seen, at, but it will be enough to get these thunderstorms off the ground and developing around that 15, 16, 1700 mark, and then through the Brisbane City area close to about 1300. But it's the humidity, the moisture, and the temperatures that we're really looking out for to pre uh, present us with this risk of severe thunderstorms, not to mention the fact that we've got a highly sheared environment. If we have a look at a convective sounding which looks at the atmosphere, it's basically a big snapshot of what the atmosphere is going to look like. Tomorrow afternoon, it looks incredible. This is at one o'clock here outside of Logan City. You can see that big dry slot at the 500 HPA range, which is where this dew point with the blue line dips sharply below the red line. And that dry slot is great for severe thunderstorm. It's great for organized severe thunderstorm potential. You can see good mid-level humidity as well into the upper levels of the atmosphere. Moisture really does bounce back and you can see those dew point and temperature lines close up again. And good wind shear values as well. We've got some strong winds in the upper atmosphere as we would expect at this time of the year. Not only that, but we've got some great temperature values into the lower atmosphere between 30 to 32 degrees, pushing 33 degrees around the surface as a maximum is what's expected tomorrow, and good moisture just all around. So all together tomorrow, it looks like we're going to have a very good setup for these thunderstorms. Now we do have a similar situation developing to what we saw back in 2008 and 2014 with significant thunderstorms through southeast Queensland as Channel 7 uh, weather presenter Tony Orton uh, pointed out. So these thunderstorms are going to develop along a line of basically sea breeze type conditions. We've got these northerly winds dragging the humidity in from the Coral Sea uh, and the northern parts of the Tasman Sea, which is going to collide into the southeast corners of Queensland throughout the day. Humidity values aren't anything special, but we're still looking at values around the surface around that 40% mark, which is again good for severe thunderstorm development. It's a sign that severe thunderstorm potential is going to be there. But have a look at this humidity creep up into southeast Queensland and the change in wind directions that we start to see. You can really see that with the wind gusts here. We see these southerlies begin to pick up into the later uh, morning and early afternoon hours through New South Wales with wind gusts approaching 50 kilometres an hour out of the south, whilst these northerlies further north into the Queensland side of things remain gusting to about 20 or 25 kilometres an hour, comparatively a lot weaker. Uh, and then you can see these thunderstorms really do begin to set up around the border uh, of New South Wales and Queensland and strong severe thunderstorm potential then begins to arise from about 2 or 2.30 in the afternoon local time over the border into southeast Queensland. Now the strongest thunderstorms are expected through the Gold Coast hinterland, particularly over the Gold Coast hinterland into Bow Desert, Jimboomba, uh, Harrisville, Boona, those sort of locations, and then later on into the afternoon around 3.30 out towards Ipswich, Lowood, and Gatton. Severe thunderstorms are most certainly expected if these thunderstorms can get themselves going. If we do see severe thunderstorms, in other words, they're likely to be very strong, and if not, very dangerous. 
Brisbane is still a bit of a fringe case for severe thunderstorm development. It could happen. It also may not into the Brisbane city area. The strongest thunderstorms, as mentioned, are expected to pass just towards the west of Brisbane. The further north as well, non-severe thunderstorms are a possibility, especially as we get north of Caboolture and up towards Kilcoy and Kinderoy. Thunderstorms are still a possibility, but for the most part, they are expected to be non-severe. Thunderstorms are also possible much further inland out to Toowoomba and Crow's Nest, again, most likely on the non-severe side of things. And a couple of non-severe pulse thunderstorms expected a lot further inland south of Dolby and out towards Milliman as well and then even as far uh, inland as good and windy as well we may be seeing some non-severe uh, thunderstorm development in the afternoon hours of tomorrow. As mentioned at the start of the forecast update, the only thing standing in the way of uh, severe thunderstorms and potentially becoming some of the strongest storms that we've seen in the last couple of years through southeast Queensland and uh, act that actually happening is, of course, high cloud coverage. Now, we do have thunderstorms crossing over the border in towards northeastern uh, New South Wales and then over in towards south central Queensland tonight, and that's going to leave us with a lot of cloud coverage, and that will likely carry over into early tomorrow morning. Now, whilst cloud coverage right now doesn't look absolutely awful for thunderstorm development, particularly after about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, we do see this cloud begin to part out and high cloud coverage drops to about 40 or 50% through the Gold Coast hinterland and even lower in places across the border and towards New South Wales, closer to 20%. You can see that there is going to be a little bit of high cloud present. This will break up a little bit into the afternoon hours, but we do expect high cloud to occur and that's what can really throttle thunderstorm activity. It can prevent it from getting itself off the ground and it could put the it could completely pull the plug on the outbreak for tomorrow across southeast Queensland. If I had to make a forecast right now uh, with a high degree of certainty. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't because we do have this high cloud coverage really throwing this forecast into jeopardy, but I would like to say that the locations that's most likely to see strong, significant, severe thunderstorm activity is in this pocket here towards the northwest of Murrawillumba, up to Bow Desert, Boona and uh, Jimbooma. We may be seeing some strong thunderstorm activity also carry over in towards Ipswich and Logan City, but for the most part it looks like there's going to be too much cloud coverage around the Brisbane City area and around the Gold Coast for these thunderstorms to really make the most of. Again, the convective sounding is incredibly healthy for these thunderstorms, and especially the closer towards the New South Wales and Queensland border we get. This is at the scenic rim here. Uh, you can see the sounding of these thunderstorms, the snapshot in the environment is pretty much perfect. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this for thunderstorms. And considering we do have that sea breeze line coming through, that is steroids. That is jet fuel for thunderstorms to develop on, and it's what's caused some substantial severe thunderstorm development today down in New South Wales. In, down there, they call it a buster, so you can think of it as pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, if we do see the exact same setup as what some of the forecast models are suggesting, well, it is going to be a pretty good outbreak. There's going to be lots of severe thunderstorm activity in a very concentrated corner across southeastern Queensland. The main risks right now include large hailstones, potentially giant hailstones if we do see conditions really do uh, mash together in a perfect way for these thunderstorms. We could be seeing hailstones approaching six or even centimeters, uh, seven centimeters in diameter, considering the amount of updraft, the amount of shear that we've got in the environment. If this high cloud can stay away, we could be looking at some of the largest hailstones uh, southeast Queensland, the Scenic Rim and the Gold Coast hinterland have seen since December of 2023. We'll also be talking about the risk of damaging to locally destructive wind gusts, particularly if we have organised or supercellular thunderstorm activity moved through into southeast Queensland. And of course, there will of course be pockets of heavy rainfall and intense precipitation as a result of these thunderstorms as well. Now, the locations to watch for tomorrow include Boona, Bow Desert, and then up towards Jimboomba, and then out towards Logan City, Greenbank, Ipswich, Marburg, Gatton, Lowood, and then up towards Wyvernhoe Dam and even Esk. That's about as far north as these severe thunderstorms will carry. Brisbane is a chance of seeing severe thunderstorm activity. Of course, the chance is rising the further out towards the west that you get. Same with the Gold Coast, a chance of seeing severe thunderstorm activity, but if I had to put money on it, I'd be saying that these thunderstorms will pass west, uh, west of both locations and strong or significant severe thunderstorm activity is as a result not expected. Severe thunderstorms are also possible over the border into the northeast of New South Wales around locations such as Woodenbong, Murrawillumba, uh, Kaigal, Nimbin, Casino, Lismore and Malaganese, uh, uh, Mal uh, Malagany as well uh, in this part of New South Wales. We may be seeing some severe thunderstorm activity too through the early hours of tomorrow afternoon. And again, it's very likely to occur between that 2.30 to 3.30 time frame. And if by 3.30 we're not seeing severe thunderstorms firing up, they're very unlikely to occur from that point onwards. Whilst it's not a coin toss, we're not flipping a coin or taking a chance at this point in time to see what's going to happen on the forecast. We've got a pretty good idea of what could happen tomorrow. It's still a bit of uncertainty and we're really going to have to just wait and see what we wake up to tomorrow. Uh, thunderstorms have done reasonably well through southeast Queensland, even with high cloud coverage. I mean, we do have a lot of cloud coverage moving into the uh, this part of Queensland, as you can see right now. 
uh, with these thunderstorms beginning to grow towards the central parts of New South Wales. Uh, but thunderstorms last weekend on Sunday did really well in the Kingaroy and the Kilcoy area, even with some high cloud coverage in the early morning hours. And there's no reason that they won't do the same, especially with this uh, with a better setup that we have through tomorrow afternoon and evening uh, inland from the Gold Coast through the hinterland and around the scenic rim. Again, very much a time to watch. It looks like tomorrow is going to bring some widespread, uh, powerful, severe thunderstorm activity in uh, isolated pockets of southeast Queensland. But again, Brisbane and the Gold Coast at this point in time, very much a fringe case. They could get it. They may not. It is a wait and see type game. But yeah, just on a side note, New South Wales today definitely put on an impressive show. Uh, the Mid-North Coast, the Hunter region, all those locations have picked up some significant severe thunderstorms, lots of lightning in the vicinity. And again, this is an ongoing severe thunderstorm outbreak with heaps of lightning activity, as you can see and hear on the screen right now. Uh, and large hailstones, damaging winds, also a significant and ongoing threat as well. That's going to do it for me today. I'll have more coverage on this tomorrow. And again, we will run live coverage if we do see dangerous severe thunderstorms developing through southeast Queensland. It's an interesting setup that's for sure and one that could prove very very potent for stronger and potentially severe thunderstorms please do consider subscribing leave a like as well and of course a special shout out to the channel sponsors their names are on screen right now could not really show without them and of course their support is as always massively appreciated there's a few more names that i need to add to this list as well so thank you so much to everybody that has joined as of late but that's all for me today i'll catch you on the next storm goodbye